Welcome back. We are in the other part of this segment here as we are meeting all the candidates that voters will be voting on as the school board and the Sioux Falls City Council elections are getting going. And tonight we're joined by Jordan Defenbaugh, who is running for an at-large city council seat. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today. What was the inspiration? This is the first time for a uh, city or a political office in general. Mm -hmm. So what was the motivation that struck for you? I love the city. I love the people who live in it. Um, I love giving back to the community. I love uh, putting my time and energy and improving it. I'm, I'm the partnership developer for the BAM Institute as well as the co-founder of the Sioux Falls Tool Library and a new uh, preservation kitchen at UGM, uh, Union Gospel Mission. Mm -hmm. And I've already been doing it. I've been already doing the work. Right. And I've already been doing a, a lot of research in our zoning codes and our ordinances. So I'm deeply embedded on the ground firsthand, but I'm also able to step back and mm -hmm. see the bigger picture. And I feel like I am the best candidate to take on this specific uh, role as city councilor. In, in working hands-on with a lot of our uh, community programs, Union Gospel mm -hmm. Mission and whatnot, are, are there some conversations you're hearing from people that are saying this is something we'd like to see change in Sioux Falls? Mm -hmm. or is there anything that you're starting to hear rumbling from that? The big thing I've heard is public transit. And our public transit needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of investment. I mean, honestly, most of my platform is actually pretty conservative. The only thing that I really emphasize in spending more dollars on and more resources is public transit, mm -hmm. especially when we consider uh, the fact that we are going to attempt to move DSS out to Dolly Farms. That's three, three miles away, mm -hmm. and we do not have effective public transit. Now, a big thing I want to emphasize with how I look at public transit is like, let's look at the boring ideas, rapid transit, uh, prioritize bus lanes. Uh, how do we develop walkable hubs in certain connecting points? I, I mean, I'm for the new uh, VIA transfer where it's basically this uh, sort of uber s transit system. I'm glad that's a piece that we're moving down. But we also need to get back to the basics and just do the simple stuff first, too. Uh, we have a quick second before we head to break here. Yeah. Was the current transit in place uh, do you think that it was maybe okay before we had this big population growth or is it something we just need to adapt to this change that we're needing? We should have been investing in our transit system decades ago. Mm -hmm. We should have been keeping up with the growth, but we didn't. And now it is an essential piece of infrastructure that we are missing as a city. And we have to remember, we are a city now. Mm -hmm. We've often talked about how we're a town, uh, like a big town, little city, but we're a city now. 300,000 people this week were identified to live in the metro. We need to get with the program and make those sorts of investments. Jordan Defmal with us. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back in just a few moments.